আসসালামু আলাইকুম দিস ইজ মোহাম্মদ কামাল হোসেন কনটেন্ট ক্রিয়েটর ট্রায়াঙ্গুলার কামাল একাডেমি ইন आवर प्रीवियस कंटेंट वी हैव अपलोडेड टू क्रिएटिव क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम अरिथमेटिक साइड इंशाल्लाह इन दिस कंटेंट वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व हियर रिमेनिंग टू क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम चैप्टर 3 इंटीजर्स एंड चैप्टर 6 ज्योमेट्री लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन देन वी विल ट्राई टू आंसर हियर ओके इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 देयर आर टोटल फोर क्वेश्चंस नंबर Three seven integers are five comma one comma minus two minus two zero four and nine. Separate the negative and non-negative integers from the above number. Uh, then the next question is place all non-negative integers in the number line. Arrange the number according to their values and find their sum. By using the number line, find the sum of first, third, and sixth number. So, one of my students have sent me this copy. Uh, just I am trying to review our copy, and inshallah, you can see what uh, is there any problem or any mistake. Inshallah, you will try to solve it. Now, the seven integers are given here according to the questions: five comma one comma minus two comma minus two zero comma nine. So here negative integers, only the same negative integers, minus two and minus two. The repeating case, you can write one by one. Uh, Non-negative integers, so non-negative integers, that means zero to all positive number, five, one, zero, four, nine. So absolutely right answer, this one is. And the second questions here, write, place the non-negative integers in the number line. So uh, here, place all non-negative integers, integers in number line. So non-negative integers, we look at number line a place curve. First draw a number line here and write the all non-negative integers, five comma, one comma, zero comma, four comma, uh, then nine. So, and place here zero. So I think you can put here the zero. The next number is one. Also, you can mark here one. Another one is four. Uh, this is five and this is nine. Just show the numbers, integers in the number line. Okay, this is answer to be done. Next questions, uh, arrange the number according to their values, uh, then add them. So according to their values, you can write in ascending order or descending order, no problem. So here, first line, you can make and write here all integers, uh, then all integers according to their values, that means smaller to greater. Uh, here you can write uh, ascending order or descending order, like all integers in ascending order, all integers or integers in descending order. So I think you can mention the word uh, des descending order or ascending order. So here, information arranged in number arranged in ascending order. So you can write here all integers according to their values in ascending order. So I think you can write here in in ascending order. So all integers according to their values in ascending order. That means smaller to greater. Definitely. So now do add the all numbers minus, minus two, minus two, plus one, plus four, plus five. No need to write here zero. Oh, so now plus minus minus plus minus minus. So here one plus four plus nine at the 19 minus minus total minus four. So answer is 15. Next questions, find the summation or sum of the first, third and six integers by using number line. So now another most important question and you have to answer these types of question in upcoming exam, no doubt. By using number line, you have to add two or more numbers. Uh, here are three numbers according to the question, the first, third and sixth number. First number is five, third number is two and sixth number is four. So definitely there are total three numbers. So first number five, that means the positive number five, we start from zero and draw a line up to five and make sure the arrow started from zero to five. So first step, 
we move five step right from zero to five and reach at plus five. Okay, now first number done. Start the second number, it's the negative number. First number completed at five. So second number is start from the five and it's negative minus two means it one will be left what? Left side of the two step from the five. First number completed at five, that's why second number will start from the five and it's negative, that's why it one will be the left what? Or left side. So now one step, two step. So now start from the five and reach two step left and came at three. That means draw a line in the three. So now it's done. Again, the next number is plus four. So again, the positive number. Now second number completed at three. Second number completed at three. That means the third number is start from the three. And it's now four step positive. That means we have to move four step right side. So you start from the three count here, four step, three, four, five, six, seven. And finally, we reached at the seven. That means seven is the correct answer. So step three, uh, we came from three to four step right at reach at the seven. That means five plus minus two uh, plus four plus minus minus and five plus four all are the positive number nine. And this is plus minus minus so answer is seven. I think this is done. Okay, now next questions. Uh, next questions, there are informations given here. ABC angle is equals to 55 degree. Okay, in the figure, you can write the angle. ABC angle. Uh, that means this angle, ABC. This angle is 55 degree. Uh, ACE angle. A C E angle. A C E. This angle is 70 degree. And these two lines are the parallel. A B and C E are the parallel. So you can use here the arrow. These are the two lines are the parallel. A B and C E. Perimeter of the triangle is given here 17. That means sum of the all boundary side of the triangle. And AB is given here five centimeter. Now, according to this figure, we have to answer the four consecutive questions. First one, define con complementary angle with the example, find the value of ACB. Uh, ACB, that means this is our requirement. And then find the length of the site BC and prove that are equal to other, that is vertically opposite angles. Uh, here the theorems number two. This is completely theorem number two, vertically opposite angle, question D. Okay, now first question answer, complementary angle. If the sum of, sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree, then the angles are complementary to each other. So you have to explain your figure, what you have done here. Uh, here, a O B angle is a complementary angle complementary of angle B O C. That means complementary angle, they have a common ray and they have a common vertex. So this is now done. If you write only the definition, you will get one mark. But if you give the example with the figure drawing, you will get uh, the full marks, two out of two. Okay, now the next question. Next question is find the value of the angle. Uh, find the value of the angle ACB. Okay, ACB first step uh, here, which informations are given. Uh, this is the 55 degree angle. Okay, let me review here. ABC angle, uh, this is information is given here. ABC angle, this is 55. And ACE, this angle is 70. These two lines are the parallel. These two lines are the parallel. So definitely, if this angle is 55, this one will be 55 because they are corresponding to each other. 
uh, here AB and CE are the parallel, BD is the transversal. That's why if this angle is 55, this one will be 55. So now you can add these two angles, then easily you can find this one because at the point C, total will be 180 degree. So here, uh, this the two angles is A, B, A, uh, this is the B, A, C angle. Uh, this is also the alternate. Yes, definitely another method. This one is the alternate of this one. Uh, just changing the color, I can show here clearly. Uh, just one second. Really, I'm so tired. Uh, okay, now, uh, here first step. Uh, this is alternate of this one because they are the parallel line. If this angle is 70 degree, this one must be 70 degree. So uh, in first step is done. This is a BAC angle, this is 70 degree. Uh, another this angle is given here, 55 degree. So if the two angles of the triangle ABC are given easily, we can find this angle because we know some of the three angles is 180 degree. When the two angles are given, definitely we can find the remaining angle. So this, the remaining angle is 55. So this is now also, this is 55. Two angles are same. Definitely ABC is an isosceles triangle. We all know when the two angles are the same, the triangle will be isosceles triangle. So B number question answer done. So now see the next question, find the length of BC. BC means this is the base side. This one is our requirement. I uh, here given information, this is, uh, this is five centimeter and perimeter is given here 17 centimeter. One side is given, perimeter is also given. So uh, definitely the perimeter is given right here. Perimeter, one side is given here. Uh, I think uh, here, uh, definitely, uh, this is not the correct way uh, she have written here. The triangle, triangles means here you have to write the perimeter of the triangles. Okay. Uh, now see here, when the two angles are the same, that means this the, uh, here is the isosceles triangle. So here you can write, this is the correct answer in triangle, in triangle, a, B, C. Uh, here, A, B, C angle. A, B, C angle. This is the A, C, B angle. This is A, C, B angle because both are 55 degree. When the two angles are same, their opposite side must be same. So A, C equals to A, B. If they are when the two angles are the same, their opposite side will be same. Again, I uh, erase this line again. Again, perimeter of the triangle. Peri, perimeter of triangle ABC. This is given here according to question. Uh, this is given here 17 centimeter. So now perimeter means sum of three boundary sides. So here, or perimeter means AB plus BC, AB plus BC, AB plus BC plus, uh, AB plus BC, AB plus BC plus CA equal to 17. So here AB and AC, here AC, uh, AB and AC both are the same. So definitely uh, BC is not given here. Uh, BC is unknown. AB is given here. AB is given here five centimeter. AB and AC same. So this one will be the five centimeter here remaining side the BC. Because AB and CA are the same. One side is given here five centimeter, definitely another side must be five centimeter. So now from here we can write or a B C plus five plus five, 10 centimeter is equals to 17 centimeter. So now B C, B C will be 17 centimeter minus 10 centimeter is equals to seven centimeter. 
that means bc is equals to uh, seven, here, seven centimeter is the correct answer seven centimeter so now uh, prove that vertically opposite angles okay let's see from the figure uh, here show that aoe aoe means this angle is equals to cod angle that means the vertically opposite angle and this is the theorem number two so here answer uh, first the two line ad uh, is there ad yes the first line is ad another line is ce the first line ad another line is ce these two line intersect at the point o so now we have to prove this angle aoe this angle is equals to this angle so now uh, these two angles aoe this one with aoc and AOC, these two angles together make a straight angle because you could draw a straight line here. These together two angles make a straight angle. Again, uh, AOC angle, that means this angle, AOC means this one and this one together is also make a straight angle because together they make a straight angle. Second information is right. So in the first, if we take these two angles, there will be 180. If we take these two angles, there will be another 180. So now comparing these two angles and omitting the same angle from the both side, we get here AOC equal to COD. And this is our proof. So dear students, uh, actually now uh, this is the sample question. You have to practice so many questions like this already in the previous classes. Uh, we have solved so many creative questions from the chapter six and uh, already all content uploaded in the playlist of the class six uh, English version math class. So here you from this playlist, you can revise the previous classes. Inshallah, you can do the well in the upcoming exam. No doubt. Inshallah. So dear student, thank you so much. I hope to see you all in the next classes and wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi